if you talk about self-defense online long enough, uh, actually even just for one day, the conversation always comes up about self-defense weapons or tools. First of all, the best self-defense weapon is a fucking gun. Hands down, by a wide margin. There's nothing better than a gun. The second best self-defense weapon is like knowing how to fight. And if you can't fight, then you're probably not going to be able to use any like weapons or tools to help you win. But as far as less lethal tools, there is one thing that I can recommend. What's up? I'm Mike, and this is Hard to Hurt, a channel dedicated to fitness and self-defense where we dispense with all the bullshit commonly associated with both of those topics. So people are going to say a knife. Like a knife is the best tool. Knife is not a self-defense tool. But that's an entirely another video. It's not pepper spray. It's not a fucking baton. The absolute 100% Without a shadow of a doubt, no argument, best self-defense tool is one that you have, as opposed to one that you do not have. A uh, flashlight you can carry anywhere. I use this little one from Streamlight. I'll put a link down below. I use this one. I prefer this one. I've tried other ones. This one takes lithium batteries. There's a version that takes a AA, but it's too big. Anything about this size in the 300 lumen range, any less, and you're not really gonna have that like blinding capability that a good defensive flashlight needs. Anything more, and you can't fucking see once you turn it on and it hits a wall. You can take this anywhere. You can take it into airports. You can take it into bars. You can take it into nightclubs. If you get a big goonie one with like teeth on it, I used to carry the Surefire Defender when I was a fucking douche, but I don't carry it anymore because it looked like a fucking weapon. First of all, it's a flashlight. It's not a coubaton. Second of all, coubatons are not fucking real. They don't work. If you think, well, yeah, if you were like good enough to make a coubaton work as a weapon, you were already going to win that fight. If I'm super concerned, I think I'm going to get like patted down at security at like a nightclub or something like that. Not that I go to those anymore. Uh, I can take the pocket clip and clip it onto my keys. And that way when I go through security, it's like in my hand, it's like a, a keychain. They'll usually pat you down like this and you go on about your way. You get in the club, you take it off and you put it back on your pocket or on your belt line. If you don't do violence professionally, um, just this tucked into your waistband should cover it. The only other thing I recommend is in your car, you have something maybe a little more stout, something you can't carry. The Streamlight Stinger is extremely powerful. Even It's not even really dark yet and you can see it's... Uh, Really powerful illumination tool, definitely could be used as a weapon. Whichever light you pick, uh, you want something with a little bit of throw. That's how much of the light holds together over distance. When I shine that back there, we have that concentrated point of illumination. Uh, but we also want a little bit of spill, which is that not quite so bright part around it. Because most of the time, we're going to be using this to like look for shit. You're not going to be trying to like blind somebody with it. thing about the flashlight as a self-defense tool is you can use it preemptively. If I'm going over here to check out the dumpster, I can shine and make sure no one's over there by the dumpster. Or like if I'm out here and I hear a noise or something. If you shine a flashlight on someone's face and it turns out they weren't a bad guy, you haven't hurt anybody. You're not going to be able to do that with pepper spray or a baton. Flashlight's the only tool that is a weapon, but also something you can like check shit out with. If you find an unlocked door to your home or business, you can't like fucking spray a bunch of pepper spray in there and like listen for people coughing. Ow! I was just making sure you didn't have a weapon. Well, that's our video on the greatest self-defense tool that there is. We'll have a video coming out soon about actual like fighting techniques. Uh, with the flashlight, but I can save you some time. It's basically just do the shit that you would normally do, but with a flashlight in your hand. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think the greatest self-defense tool is, and I'll tell you how fucking wrong you are, unless you're telling me that it's a flashlight, which is the only tool that works 100% uh, of the time, and you can't hurt yourself with it, and you can't go to jail for using it on someone, probably. So leave me a comment down below and tell me how fucking stupid you are and how, like, you know, a fucking ring with hidden poison in it is like smarter or you're like a ninja or you carry around a log um tell me what kind of dumb shit you carry around in the comments down below or tell me how fucking awesome this video was it really doesn't matter any comment just helps with the algorithm 
uh, your opinion is meaningless. My existence is pointless. Um, there is nothing. Only, you know, a brief flicker of light and then blackness.